Watch you guys got another video. Microsoft starts to roll out the new redesigned start menu. And we're also going to be talking about Patch Tuesday's November 2025 updates. There's been quite a few fixes for versions of Windows 11 25 H2 and Windows 11 24 H2 because both of those are still in circulation and are still being supported by Microsoft. So whatever version you're using, uh, these updates will patch a lot of problems that have been happening with Windows 11. And I'm happy to say a lot of the issues that I was having when I first installed Windows 11 25 H2 have now been resolved. And I'm not receiving any of these issues anymore, which is a good sign. Not sure why it was happening to me because it was a brand new computer. And that was the main reason why I stayed on Windows 10 for so long and I went back to it. But if you're one of these people that are suffering with niggly little problems, hopefully these updates will resolve a lot of your issues. Before that, let's have a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is CD Key Sales. Choose the product you want to use and buy. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order. Choose the change button and then paste in your key. Choose next and then click activate. And you've just now got rid of that annoying watermark and got a full version of Windows. So let's talk about the Patch Tuesday update first. You can see an extensive list here on Bleepy Computer's website. I will leave a link for that in the video description. But to break it down, Microsoft vulnerabilities for November 2025 are classified as follows. So under vulnerability category, spoofing vulnerabilities, there was two of those and the importance was two. So denial of service vulnerability, there was a quantity of three of those and it was important of three of those. Uh, elevation of privilege uh, vulnerabilities. There was 29 of those. One was critical and 28 were important. Security feature bypass vulnerabilities, quantity of two, two important. Uh, information disclosure vulnerability. There was 11 of those. One of them was critical and 10 were important. So remote code execution vulnerabilities, which is pretty common uh, for Windows, 16 quantity three critical and 13 important. So hopefully that breaks it down a little bit more easier. Uh, Bleeping Computer do have a link in the video description. You can read the full list and get a more blow for blow detail about all of the security patches and updates that are happening for Windows 11 25 H2 and Windows 11 24 H2. Now, if you're waiting for the brand new start menu to be rolled out, you may be one of the lucky ones. It may have already been rolled out to you. It's going as a gradual rollout. So some people are getting it and some people have to wait until Microsoft push it out to them. Now, there is a way you can get it early uh, again, but I wouldn't advise doing that. I'll just wait until Microsoft roll this update out to you so you will be able to get uh, the new start menu that Microsoft have been working on for many, many months, trying to get it to a stage where Microsoft are happy uh, with it. But unfortunately, with all of the latest updates that they've been releasing lately, they have been full of bugs and they've been very problematic for a lot of people. So whether you have been looking forward to this brand new start menu that I'm going to show you in a second once we get it all fully updated, because I do know that the new start menu uh, has been a real big issue for a lot of people with Windows 11. The old start menu was uh, small uh, and it didn't have much usability you couldn't actually modify it in any way shape or form but this new way you can modify it a little bit but it has become a little bit larger and we'll talk about that in a second after we do a quick reboot so let's do a quick reboot of the system and when we get back we should have that brand new start menu and i'll be able to show you guys what it's going to look like now let me know your thoughts of what you think of this brand new uh, start menu from microsoft now, this menu is the finalized version. So this is the version that you're going to be receiving on Windows 11 24H2 and Windows 11 25H2. And there it is right there. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, if you ask me. And this is not the full size. When you plug in your phone, there'll be another wing on the right-hand side. I'm not going to plug in my phone just to show you because you have to set up a Microsoft account. But basically, uh, you will have another big chunk of a quarter of this will be another wing of this on the right hand side you can hide it but basically that is the start menu you can see we've got categories here um, and we also have the pinned area and the recommended this can be customized to grid as you can see so you can have it in grid format 
I do think it's an improvement over the previous uh, menu, uh, but in all honesty, it's still too big and they need to allow you to resize it. You can see right here, you can also have it set as a list or you can go back to category. I do believe category is probably the best option. It's broken down into groups here. You can see entertainment, creativity, productivity, uh, utilities and tools. And there's a couple of more down the bottom, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but basically, yeah, you just have to uh, group stuff into these little categories. Um, so you've got productivity here. All of this stuff will be uninstalled on my PC once I get this installed on it. This is a virtual machine, but I would just basically remove all of this stuff. Now, the phone link right here, as you can see, will be the one that will show the wing on the right hand side when you plug in your phone, which will make it massive. It really does. So you still get quick access to all of your areas here. I do think it's a, a big major improvement compared to the previous one, although it's a lot larger. So if you don't mind a larger menu like this, then by all means, you're going to love it. If we come down the bottom here, let's quickly go down and you'll see a couple of more categories. One of them is other and the other one is accessibility. So there are your options available on the category list. Now, inside the personalization start menu, you can customize it to your own liking. So you can turn off that recommended section if you don't want the recommended section. You can turn on all of the features if you want to and customize it to have those icons down the bottom there. I just think that just makes it super duper cluttered and there will just be too much going on on the start menu. That's just my personal opinion. But you can customize it the way you like by just toggling these on. You can see show recommendations, tips, shortcuts and new apps and things like that. And you can see this one right here. Let me just show you inside here and we'll turn some of these off. Let me open this back up again and go back into the start settings here and we'll turn off some of these and you'll see that it will disappear. So you've got show recommended right here, files and start and uh, recent files and also file explorer and items in the jump list. When you turn that off, it will automatically remove the recommended for you. But I've just turned them all off here to show you what it looks like. So it looks a bit cleaner and more accessible. You've got all your icons on here, and I do think that is a cleaner look. My only concern with these particular types of menus is I can now see on my screen two edge. I've got an edge here and an edge in the category uh, already. And you can already see that I've got other duplicates on here. And that's because they've got a category and a pinned area. So the pinned area would be ideal for applications that you use on a regular basis. You can move these into different uh, places. You can create little folders for them as well if you want to do that. I just think that's extra clicks that you're going to be have to create to go into a location. So you can organize it a little bit better than what I'm showing here, but it just gives you an idea of what you can actually do with this new start menu. Now, the pin section, I think, is very important because these are the apps that you're going to be accessing quite frequently. And the categorized ones, you can put in there some of the stuff you don't really use all the time. Again, you're going to end up with uh, double icons, but you can uh, remove them from the categories as well. Now, also, I just wanted to show you here for the task manager, for the issue that people had that has now been resolved. Uh, if you look inside here and I type task, I've opened it up a few times here. That now means that you're not having duplicate processes in the background. So that was in the uh, updates for November as well, for patch 2 Z updates for November. So that is pretty much it. That is what you can expect. Now, there is some other features in here and they're all listed on this document here for November 11th, 2025. And that's the KB5068861. And that's for builds, as you can see on there, 26200.7171 and 26100.7171. And these updates are for, like I said, 25H2 and 24H2. It'll include all of the latest security updates and fixes and improvements, along with some non-security updates for last month's optional preview releases as well. So all in all, I've had no problems since I've updated it. And I just wanted to show you this one right here as well, which is uh, the October one, which will show you a list of what they've actually added. 
and I'll try and leave the links for these in the video description if I remember. But you can do a quick search for them for Patch Tuesday for November or October. You can just search for those and you'll be able to find these documents on Google. And you can see it's a gradual rollout here. And when you look here, it will give you a breakdown of what's actually been released and all of the fixes. I can make a full video going through every single uh, fix and also every single feature they've added. But it's just as easy to come to this site and have a look. You can see Start Menu New, Redesign Start Menu. Are built to help you access your apps more quickly and smoothly its redesigned layout makes it easier than ever to find what you need and you can see scrollable all section and you've got category and grid through which i just showed you responsive layout as well and the list goes on there's a big list of stuff that they've added in this update and i'll quickly scroll through them here so you can actually see what is in this update so you'll be able to see uh, some of the features that have been added you can see phone link integration right here that will be added on the end of that start menu as well you'll get another little wing that i talked about you got your lock screen uh, there new battery icons being added nothing too uh, crazy they haven't done any major updates the one big major update i would say has been that start menu but anyway i think that is going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.